Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers. I'm Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of the Mine Colonies mod. And we're here in our little growing dev community. Um, still without Sam letters, although he is going to return in only a bit, I believe. And I'm going to say hi to everyone, so... Hi Superminix, hi Pokey, hi Luna, hi Greg, hi Ninja. <laughs> and hi Salmas as well. And welcome to the um, new followers we got. This is Mr. Sacco and Magmary. That maybe are here. Maybe they're going to arrive in a bit. Hi, sick boy. Stick boy, sorry. That's pretty neat, ninja. A nice, great job. Um, it's going to check what our builder here is in need of. Uh, a bit of rubber banding. Needs a rag to continue working. I thought it did give most of these things. Um, no. Yesterday there was no stream. It was also my day off. On Tuesday I did forget the notification so on Tuesday you probably missed the stream and on Monday there was no stream either it's Monday and Wednesdays are my days off basically let me check down here I thought I gave you all of this stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Gonna put a roof over my head. Skip the chit chat. Let's see if she actually, if maybe the delivery man picked it up. Yes, we got an early start today. Let's see, we can. Yeah. So the D man picked that up. So the delivery man are going to deliver that soon. Yeah, I have absolutely forgot on Tuesday and someone told me midstream no at the end of the stream you didn't actually tell us about the stream today and I was like oh darn it I forgot about that hi tiny Todd how are you a little bit too epic okay other music um let me check what we have with us here. We're out of granite again. And I wanted to start off a little bit continuing our wall here to help our colony defenses. Definitely for starters. Let me get some of that stuff first. Some granite. A little bit. I think I have to go more to the chill section of the music again. <laughs> that sounds great, John. Okay. We got 64. Potentially we have more in our warehouse. We do have a bunch of sandstone with us here too. There we go. Uh, um, let's go there to our wall. And our visitor died, so that is not completely fixed yet. Even though the server is on the newest version. So I have to give it another look and see if maybe the positioning is not fully optimal yet. Okay. There we go. One, two. Oops. Now, <laughs> just when I made the jump, I fell down. On, I did see the the images of that, John. Great job. Yes.
Ah, the position fix one was in 62. I thought I fixed that earlier. But yeah. Oops. One too much. Um, I think those look a little bit bad because that looks a little bit like senseless. Ouch. We want some sand and some of those. Okay, there we go. Hi, Captain Salt. Ah, uh, so, po yeah, so potentially 62 was supposed to fix some lag issues. That I'm sure. But I'm unsure what other thing is entered together. There we go. That's a bit better. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, five. Perfect, yes. There we go. Same thing here. Okay. Okay. I hope there's not going to be a, a raid soon. Just, just when I'm on low health here right at the moment. That would be very unlucky. Meanwhile, I have to deconstruct this building. So I am... Oops. Ah, neat. So, I do want to deconstruct this. So the builder takes that on as a deconstruction task. No builder close enough. I have to choose it manually. Build options. I think corner is the next one. Done. So we deconstruct this and move it within the range of our wall here. But I think that is already pretty good piece of wall. If we can finish that up out there. So each episode we finish a little bit of the wall so it doesn't get tedious. Um, there we go. There's still a small issue with the loading of the racks which still causes a little bit of lag. Talking about that, it is probably a good idea to spark sampler run that a little bit who will pay for the wall but probably the zombies are not going to pay for the wall so it's me paying for the wall so luckily there is a real serious issue and that are the barbarians to keep out else it would really not be worth it right there we go. I haven't complete. I haven't completely seen the underground ones yet, so I'd have to give them a more detailed look for sure. We got that one here. Or there we go. Yeah, that that would be that would be bad. Um, but it shouldn't be possible. It shouldn't be possible to block myself in, though. <laughs> there we go. Progress. Another wall. So until Sam Letters is back, we got a decent wall defense going. We did decrease the number of raids a little bit on the server. 
So there's a chance we will only get a raid every two episodes or so. However, we are probably going to lift that again once some add-ons brought the balancing updates out. So I mean, it's currently working on quite some exciting balancing things. So for once, it's what we've talked about to make the um, the archers better guards. There will be for once and a way for archers to shoot through other guards so that like the arrow travels through them and hits the mob behind them and in general for sure making sure that um, archers stand ground on walls to defend the colony instead of Walking down from their walls to attack the enemy, which what they're doing at the moment and is probably not the smartest choice. Oh no, I did that on purpose. That's kind of uh, going to be the the gate. We still need a way in and out. So we do need a few gates here and there. Potentially when we're back on a better iron quantity We can set it up uh, some add-ons is on holidays Currently, so he only has his laptop and not his computer Which is potentially not powerful enough to To do this he's doing a little bit of death work Although also less because he's currently on holidays but yeah, um, I need to eat something. Then I have to go back there and I gotta get a bunch of torches to take up there. And welcome to our stream, Mr. Shell as well. Oh, everyone slept already? That's good. There you go. So... Um, we want to get some torches. Um, and potentially some, we're going to make some doors. To make that uh, a doorway for now. And then later we can still make it something else. For now we make it a doorway. Um, for that we can potentially make it like... Chiseled sandstone. We do need torches. Um, what was it? Got to the miner. I also running out of food. I'm going to get some more of those potatoes running. There we go. That's all. Okay. Better than nothing. I bring the. <laughs> That's always nice. I I always try to do these kinds of things as well. Um, I think it contributes to the overall quality of the streams and these kinds of things. Because if always the same people are streaming, usually what we have is like a general drop of quality because of the lack of competition. Similar with normal enterprises and companies. Which is also why I'm always trying to buy different products of different companies. Kinda reduce the power of companies. Um, okay. I don't like to do this. But let's, let's check in our miner. Probably some things there to get as well, to grab in general. No, I don't want saplings. Maybe one. We can replace them here. But he still seems to be getting stuck again. So I think some add-ons might have broken the stuck detection of the lumberjack. So what do you need? 
sandstone stairs and slabs. So you got some stairs here. Okay, in general was it... It was this stupid thing, wasn't it? Huh. I still heavily disagree with it. And welcome Oregon as well. So, I don't, it's not supposed. Hi, Irish. Hi, hi Chef. How are you doing? Um, so, we're going to make. That's the normal sandstone. Yes. Ah, right clicking. Okay. Even easier. That's kind of super tedious, by the way. Takes ages. Ages. I'm out of coal. I know I complained a lot about it yesterday. But I'm of, out of coal. And I don't have Sam letters here around. To, to go mining. Okay. Almost. A few more. It is super tedious. Yeah, charcoal is definitely my... Going to be my option. It's still kind of cheaty because they... it It's not coal, so the stick would burn only for... A few minutes. Picking up the torches here. Okay. And then I take care of the miner. There you go. Yeah, it's a little bit... We, we're having still a small request problem, I'm seeing. So that already gives gives me stuff to do on a weekend, right? What would it, what, what would it do on a weekend without... Hunting down mine colonies bugs that would be a totally boring move uh, weekend. What would I do? Right, go to the beach, travel, have fun. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I do still have to complain. I I could I didn't have the time to test that yet. The crafter. The, yeah, I didn't have time yet to try to reproduce the crafter crafter issue, but all those things are together on my list for the weekend basically. I fixed today the other issue Luna had with the, uh, with the, um, what are the names, the plantation workers, where plantation workers wouldn't do sugarcane. I'm going to say that was not my fault. I said it's the, the tag name is Sugar Cane and not it's Sugar. I did fix it because I didn't want Luna to rescan everything. But it's not Sugar, it's Sugar Cane. But it's going to be fixed relatively soon. Okay, those are going to be delivered as well. Here you go. And then we can place those torches on the wall there. Yeah, I hope you may. I hope you name them lowercase sugar, because I'm not going to add a, a case check to it. So unless it's, I fixed it to lowercase sugar, so it can be either sugar cane or lowercase sugar, but it has to be one of this. Yeah, okay. Then it, then it should be fine. Oops, I did forget a little piece here, I see. There we go. I can't wait, only 
another week and we're going to have the lo-fi and jazz music instead of the all the electronic music which I don't find very soothing to be fair yeah then it's going to be fixed with the update the update is also going to fix the healer getting stuck issue which was a really funny one I checked with uh, one of the new deaths we currently have and we looked through the code and after all it was uh, we had a smaller than check rather than a bigger or equals than check which caused weird issues which is going to be fixed relatively soon we're going to need this here some chisel sandstone I'm going to craft some doors there we go I guess that that works it's a short term defense at least going to hold them off a little bit Yeah, they're going to break through the door anyway. Else I would have to close it completely. But yeah, actually they can't even place letters on those half slabs. That was actually quite a nice idea. <laughs> Thinking about it. Potentially putting, yes, uh, uh, an upside down stair on the other side definitely makes sense. Um, I'm just going to fix the other hole we have here. But I, I'm definitely going to do what you said, John. That makes absolute sense. And is a good idea. So why not? Okay. And... Craft another door. Another set of doors, to be exact. Okay. Didn't we have one there as well? Okay. At least, anyway, let's get some... No, not the smooth one. Not the normal sandstone. Make some doors. Yeah, we're going to make multi-piston gates in the future. Quizzy. At the moment, we do not have enough resources to make all those multi-piston gates. Eh, but how am I going to do this now? We don't know yet what is causing this double door bug. We don't know. If you find out which mod is causing that, please tell us. It's not us. Um, I'm going to do this. There's, there's a torch up here. I think the torch already is fairly protective to be honest. Because they're not going to be able to place it on the torch. So they have to place the torch as it was a stair. So that should fix it. We did disable the one of Quark. We did disable the one of Quark. And it didn't fix it. Here's the fisherman one. Could we edit maybe here. I think I did not leave an opening for that and hi Mikel as well welcome to our cheat no I'm on our private patreon server okay I guess I have to make a hole here then yes guess I have to make a hole do it like this Put the stairs here, put some chisel sandstone on the sides, and take the two remaining doors. Neat. Yeah, in the future we're going to add an underground tunnel, but for now that's fine. For now we can keep it as is. Okay, there we go. Then we check... I'm going to check our delivery lists. Do we have three delivery men at the moment? I want to check on that. 
Oh, and Dude Man GT, welcome to our stream as well. Today we got some bunch of new people joining. I see, very neat. Okay, that one has a pickup scheduled, and still is under production. That one here got his got the top added already, so I guess that one is getting close to finishing. Let's check our other one. We've got two pickups in the list, and the other one. The last one. Three pickups. Okay. Ah, wrong place. That's not where I wanted to go yet. Yeah, the tucked in message is not an important message. So you don't get them if you're not at home. Okay, I gotta go to, to sleep as well. I think there is a citizen hut. There's a guard tower up there. Ah, that works. Gonna put a roof over that head. Okay. The oak letter is not <sighs> being delivered, and it was not in none of the lists. It seems we got some kind of delivery man issue going on here too, which. Fantastic. is going to be on my list as well so we need a bunch of birch stuff let me see if I have birch here with me I need to dump all the remaining things here and I can see do I have any birch with me nope okay I'm going to get some birch in our storage here actually we have some birch around no only birch stairs okay An indicator of the clipboard we do have some plans related to a colony management tool in general that would kind of include something like that I don't know slaps I think that would probably be a good place for like a colony management tool that's kind of extend an extension of the town hall and allows you to do some of the actions of the town hall, not all, and with uh, other restrictions in place together. But I'm in general not. Um, well, let me copy that one here over quickly. I'm in general not in favor of adding it to the clipboard. I think that would only cause confusion. How's the work going? You have everything now. You should be picking them up. Okay, it got registered. So she's going to detect it soon. And I'm going to check on our other builder. Who should be fine with resources now. And probably... Let me check on him. Let me check on Connor. Okay, he, he still has the, the oak ladder request. And apparently no delivery man with that task, is that correct? Those are pickups, still. I do have a, f a feeling that one of the delivery mans have... That's also a pickup. Um, and the other remaining delivery man on the other side. Also, only the same pickup still. It's kind of weird. Let me go down there quickly. And we do see... Quickly... Um, there we go. Do we have any letter here? <sighs> no, we do not have any letters. So that's the general problem. And that one here seems stuck. Yes, they are stuck. That is the potential cause of all of this. Hi, Belem C8 Seed. Welcome to our stream. Okay. Now our workers 
should be able to get around again. This here too. Bring that's your bag. And torch here too. And now they should be able to get around again. Hey. Okay. Um our X fighter got a nice upgrade here. So it's now with quartz slabs on the sides and nether brick on these sides. I gotta be honest, I like this design. Looks very neat. The driver's. And hi there, Margo, how are you doing? Potentially that was the problem of one of the delivery men having that item. But being stuck inside and not being able to do all their Ouch. any of their jobs actually. Who has an <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. If if you're do playing it in MC Eternal, you should definitely um check it out in uh, 115 because we've done a lot of work in 115 that is not done in in 112 yet so there are way more things even and wow thanks a lot for the subscription dude man we appreciate it a lot work, work. Um, all the money we make with our patreon as well as all the money we wa we make with the subscription of Twitch, all gets distributed to all the amazing people who contribute to our project. Yes, it looks a bit more imperial. That's true. But at least they're able to do their jobs again. All the all the delivery men. We're probably stuck doing their jobs because they were locked down there. That explains the issue we had. What is Fortune doing yeah. down here now? Hmm. What are you up to? I know that. I'm going to do my best work she's, for you. She's seeming to have problems to pick those up. Let's see if this here helps her. Yeah. There seem to be some request system oddities. So I'm going to have fun on the weekend again to dig into these. And check what the channel problem is. <laughs> That's interesting as well. My best work for you. Okay. Yes, sir. Apparently she was hungry, so hopefully she's going to continue working soon. Just ate something. I did recall her on the way from the from the university, so that might be it. I brought you the letters. I didn't cancel the request. So that should be fine too. The request didn't finish uh, cancel automatically because the delivery man still had one open. A delivery open. So it wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, that can happen. I have a feeling that we need this here How's the work going? to to get fortune going again. Um, it is possible. Um, I can show you that quickly. All the buildings in my colonies, all the building blocks, like the builder block here, they serve as a connection through all the racks like in 115 we have this icon here where you can see the contents of all the racks as well and that is because that one here is connected to, to all of them 
So if you plug um, any inventory mod in the main building block, it will build a bridge, basically. So the warehouse four is finished. That's neat. We didn't get fireworks. I'm mildly unsatisfied now. But yeah, if you plug it in the warehouse, that is going to work just fine. Now, to one of the secrets of the desert warehouse, something people might not know. Was it here? Let's see if that works. Doesn't seem to work. What's happening? Ah. So here's something happened. Because there is a secret storage room here in the back. In the back of the warehouse. Just have to sandstone, sandstone. Let's... Let's see what is wrong here. Oops. One sticky piston. Missing another sticky piston, it seems. Yes, the structurized mod is also us that completely developed it. Do we have any sticky piston around here? We do. Just gotta find it then. But yes, the structurized mod was also completely us. In the past we used the schematica mod for that, but because they kinda lacked the speed we needed. We put this here. Sticky. We need to find it quicker. Because they were not developing quickly enough and we were lacking behind in porting because of that, we created our own system that is more optimized to our needs. Just gotta find the right one. Might be one... Huh. Maybe in the main block? Sticky... It's gone now. You kidding me? It's a gun. There was a sticky piston, it's a gun now. What did you do with my sticky piston? I guess one of the deliveries was still open to the builder. Let me see if that one arrived here then. Yeah, overly it's a ton. No, here it only sticks. What happened to the sticky piston? I ask. But yeah, overly our mod team has a lot of mods we are maintaining. So not only do we develop... Oh well. Not only do we develop mine colonies and structurize together, but we also are the maintainers of the performant mod. Um, I have a small in um, tool mod as well. Um, we do have a phantom disabling mod. We have a B mod as well, but I'm not sure if it's out yet. Yeah, it seems the demon got sticky fingers with our sticky pistons, exactly. I'm going to sleep now, and then I'm going to check on that again. Oh yeah, and besides the our GUI um, framework that allows us to code um, GUIs, more comfortably. Oh nice, we got another research done. That's neat. That's just one of the things that are in 115 now compared to 112. 
Hope you don't enjoy this music, that's a bit too stressing. It's lagging. So I'm going to use this moment to run the sampler a little bit. And then five, four, three, two, one. Let's stop it again. Ah, spark. And copy that. And I'm going to check into that after the stream. Always good to to check out what is causing these instances of lag and see if it's our fault or if we are supposed to and go complain to other mods about it. <laughs> Which is not my favorite option because most of them are fairly unresponsive to these kinds of things. Okay, I'm going to fire her quickly because I think she's kind of stuck wanting to eat. And we see if that helped her out somehow. Could have been just the lag causing issues too. She's stuck again. And I'm going to check back at the warehouse. If my sticky piston is back, I need that sticky piston. <laughs> yeah, the idea we are having with this is in the Anno direction. So I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Anno as well. Unfortunately, I do not have the time to, to play it, but I'm a huge fan for sure. need another one. We need to place this here to fill this in here in the top. Yes. And neat that you found us through through Dire Wolf. I was uh, really happy for him to pick up mine colonies as well. In general, he was playing on the 112, which is the, let's say, a bit more less fleshed out version but it still worked out pretty neatly and I think it was fairly possible to see the initial potential of the mod even though he only sh showed a small window of what is possible with mine colonies but it is it is a more elaborate mod you don't easily finish with a few episodes hmm. only Maybe next sleeping time, Fortune is going to I'm going to recall her to the town hall and then see what she's going to do. Having some weird, she, the builders having some issues with the lag. I'm wondering if some of their ticks are being skipped, which causes them to not run into their their detection tasks. Because of the lag and then performance kicks into that that is very possible that performance is then indirectly causing that meanwhile I do want to upgrade this too Click upgrade on this one. Now the chilly musics are not very chilly today. This one here still has the task open. We got the builder working on it. And I'm going... Okay. Cook is fine. Mm, 
meanwhile we still having a bit of lag issues on the server unfortunately when i checked the last log um the, i added a fix which should fix the mine colony which fixed the mine colonies part of it however unfortunately um vanilla is super bad in terms of lag so even though we were doing something broken still 40 percent of the ticks was to useless things vanilla does and what we're going to research next is the question um potentially this here so we need bone spider eye and rotten flesh um i do have the rotten flesh with me I do have the bones with me i don't think i have the the spider eyes no let's check if we have in our storage the eight spider eyes we need for that Um, it's level 1. It should be level 1. So we're going to see if that works now. But it should be level 1. Level 1 research. 8 spider eyes. 11 is a bit too much. 8. There we go. Not mistakenly eating it. Mm, let me double check there let me double check there I'm unsure if it needed another condition I didn't actually pay attention to that to be fair too we're going to see that right now if there's any additional condition to that there we go Um, guard tower level 1 So that should not be a problem So rotten flesh all of it So it worked for me Yes, yes, you need all of them. It's not or it's and So if that was the problem then that probably was the problem because you need all of them I wanted to check what else we can research here. We potentially want to already do something else. Um, potentially here. Let's check, check in technology first. We do want to unlock the composter and the sawmill for sure. Potentially this here first. So let me get some lava buckets and then we we research the smelter first things first. Um you would have to add it to to GitHub. You would have to make a pull request to get it added. So what did I need? Ah, lava buckets. Oh, iron. That's good. Any more iron around here? Any buckets? No buckets here. No buckets here. Ah, here. One, two, three. And again, very not chillful music. Really can't wait until they finally add the the update, and then we can enjoy the lo-fi and these kinds of things, which are a little bit more chillful than this. Yeah, that that can happen. Yes. You are on a server it can need more time it is real world time one hour but it can need a bit longer than that if the server is lagging 
No, the university chunk doesn't have to be loaded. Only the colony in general has to be loaded. Doesn't have to be the particular research chunk. Was it four or three buckets? Now I'm kinda in doubt and I have to double check before I go to the nether. Um, three or four buckets. This is here the question. Ah. Technology. Four. Good that I double checked. I also would have gone to the nether, getting three buckets full of uh, lava just to run all the way back again. Which would have been mighty unsatisfying. Um, get me another one there. Yes, if you do not have enough uh, researchers working, that will cause delays, yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> you just need a ma majority of your colony chunks loaded. So that the colony is detected as loaded. And then it's fine. Library? Did I say library? Did you say library? If I said library, I didn't mean library. University. There we go. So, down to the nether it goes. And we get some lava there. To research the smeltery. Ah, okay. And the lumber... Ah, that's the wrong entry anyway. Yeah, the lumberjack tree thing I also noticed. And I'm going to tell some addons about it. I'm going to tell Sam letters that there is a problem. Told him. So hopefully, he's going to be able to check into it tomorrow. Okay, now we have to go down here and get some lava. There we go. Ouch. Not fun. Then we gotta get up here again on our path. Where was the path? Ah, here. It's so dark, almost impossible for me to see. Here, here, okay. Yeah, the lava is very bright with those shaders. And on my second monitor, that is a bit darker than my laptop monitor, the contrast is even stronger and it's barely possible to see anything. Um, ah, chunks are not loaded. Yeah, the lumberjack should be breaking those leaves to get to the trees. But there is um, a bug preventing them to do so at the moment. I'm using Seal's shaders, not the uh, Silder's shaders in general. Um... In general, yeah, you can report them here, but in, ten, in, in some cases I'm going to just tell you to report them on GitHub. And if you have something um, in general, it's always useful to post the whole information on GitHub if you have an issue. That is something we're guaranteed to read and remember about. I'm not sure, do we have a github command? Command? Nope, we don't. So it's... Wait. It's this one here. That's where... We also do have a discord. Where you also can... Um, discuss bugs in general. Okay, research started. 
then success. Um, it was Thylar or Tylar who made the Asian style. You can find him on our Discord as well. Let's see if my sticky piston reappeared already. Maybe one of these secret ones here? Nope. Nope. And Fortune is building from down here. Which is also an interesting choice. <laughs> Yeah, Tyler definitely did a great job on that style. I definitely agree. That is all of them. All, all our builders are doing an amazing um, an amazing job. We've been wanting an Asian style for a long time, and we had someone working on it for a long time, procrastinating on it. That was really glad when Tyler arrived and. Did the job well done. Let's say it like that. Oh. Some weird sand. Here. Yay, Fortune did a great job. Meanwhile, I do think Connor is deconstructing the other tower. So let me check on that. No, not yet. That would not be... Eh, would not be very difficult. Eh, would, would potentially not be very difficult to add. Yeah, he's deconstructing. You can see it here. Um, ah, the miner. There are some... Ah, barracks, finally. There's some general issues with the miner. Um, and that is when the miner can't reach the location they want to go to. So usually what works well is firing and rehiring the miner. Because that will get them a new mining job assigned. And elves, uh, yeah, firing, hiring, or elves going down there, sw switching levels, and going down there and checking if there is any gravel or similar in the way, not allowing the miner to path to the location they want to get. <sighs> Mr. Mardle up here. Hi, Fujin, Raijin. Where is he? There. I think I have a feeling he's flying. see is that him or is he just down there ah you're invisible by the portal <laughs> ah there you are now you can walk through ah you were not able to open the door that makes sense. Yeah, I did see the, the new bird style. And it looks pretty neat. How are you flying around? He is flying around though.
Yeah, as far as I know that uh, Luna sent me Botania, Flugel, Tiara Wizzy Wizzy I want this disabled I don't like creative flight <laughs> I do not like creative flight I think it's very non immersive what happened here I wonder I really wonder what happened here I'm going to destroy those I'm going to fill in but I still wonder what happened Yeah, I, uh, Luna sent me them for review and they look pretty good. If there was any delay, it was because I needed ages to tell Luna that they're looking fine. <laughs> I think we're one off, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, that's, this is supposed to be one more. So it's the opposite. Yes, it's supposed to be like this. I do like um, version exclusives, especially for visual stuff, because we do want people to switch to the newest versions, because it is a huge pain to maintain multiple versions at the same time. Everything we can do to motivate people to stay on the and come on the newest version is always welcome in my opinion. Ah, Luna doesn't have VIP, right? No, she doesn't. Yes, I gotta do that. Done. Thanks for reminding me, Google. There we go, sandstone. Yeah, and I'm going to have to fix the clearing of the blocks. Yeah, that looks, that looks right now. Yes, a, I'm seeing as well in the different Forge discords a lot of mod are updating. In general it's not a big pain unless I think there are two things that are really a pain and that is world generation and what was the second one and UI rendering in some degree. But even for us, the GUI rendering was very smooth. Yeah, a lot of mods stayed very long in 112 because of the Forge rework for 113. And besides 113 in general being a relatively big rework. Um, that's what in the end caused this all the mods to stay behind for a longer time hmm. We're out of torches again I'm going to be getting some Sandstone sandstone we have to get more sandstone soon too a bunch of more gravel, sandstone. I'm out of sandstone here, and I guess I am. What's it today then? You need the wall, the sandstone wall. At least I can make out of this. Okay, our guard tower got deconstructed. I'm going to make her some walls, and then the next thing we're going to do. is to recon reposition our guard tower and get that done. Oh wow. Yeah, there are a bunch of mods already out in 116. At the moment we have a 116 version out already too for all our Patreons. We have a 116 version out um, and 
for the rest of the people we're going to have a 116 version out in early July by the way we're going to have the public version then okay you can give me some of that sandstone here and I'm going to okay here we can see it now pick up you picked up the guard tower here let me just get some sand we can fill in the hole here potentially we do not have enough sand for this but at least to make it look natural yeah not enough for all of it good enough I would say so now we can have, sorry, very early August. <laughs> um, yeah, it's still broken because some add-ins, Sam letters did a little bit of breaking things. Okay, that's where the old one was. I find that it still renders it. Um. Wait, we have that back. I want to rotate it one over here. Huh. Okay. So we here we got the wall. Now, the question is, we do have a ways down in our colony, by the way, Fujin. On which height is that guard tower here? But that seems relatively off. It's around this. We can't include it in the, in the university. Um, so let me see. Oh, in, in solo worlds it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. You can just turn it off in the config files. And generally it's, I think, MC, Colony... Uh, there's another thing. Can spawn raiders. It's MC, Colony, can spawn raiders with the colony ID in false. <laughs> and one deeper. Um, potentially I'm going to integrate it then just in the wall. So I'm going to make this here. Go straight in our guard tower. Now one over here. This goes... And one more here. Okay. So it's one, two, three... Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So, this it is going to be. I have to dig out a little bit. And then we can actually directly upgrade uh, 70 white terracotta. Should be fine. Can. Ah, uh, forget again. Honor. Upgrade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, in terms of pitch meeting, as a, what was one, what has one once been seen cannot be unseen. You should definitely Google for pitch meetings on uh, uh, Google. Search for pitch meetings on YouTube, Google. You're having a massive lack of of general knowledge, I would say. One of the best formats on YouTube. Yeah, watching pitch meetings is super tight. <laughs> I 
And I want that, that you guys go all the way off my back about schematic issues. All the way off my back. <laughs> Let me check out what our workers and builders are working on. <laughs> yes. No, pitch meeting uh, are, is a really great, really great format. I do really love his general YouTube channel as well. Did, I, did you ever check out his own YouTube channel? Yeah. Getting those delivered. Anyway, we I think we're going to repair our tools. Oh, I love the uh, I love his general YouTube channel. Yeah, it's super absurd, but it's great in a great way. You watched screen rants and you did not see see the the guy that is actually carrying screen rant on his shoulders I would say arguably pitch meeting is the best format of, of screen rant I would say I would say it's potentially the best part of it okay oops fail Yeah, probably something like that. Like half of the fuse, if not more. Um, lag? Done. We're out of torches again, aren't we? Okay, first... First... Things first. Let's get some charcoal burning. And then second thing, second... We get the sandstone. Um, we do have an ex entire structure team actually, which is we have Luna, we have Kugo, we have Erevan, we have John, um, and then we have Carlsoner for the medieval styles and Tyler for the. Uh, um, others remaining for the Asian style exactly. And that's our general schematic team. Yeah, for the A Asian, yes. Yeah, you could then generally. The best place for that is probably asking on our Discord in the in a schematic channel. Yeah, Erevan here. Let me get one of these. Must be more logs here. There. That should be fine. Yeah, we also call it deco for decoration. Uh, eat something and then we put it in here there we go you know and the there we go let me get just one so we do not mine in the dark there we go because we got that dynamic lightning mod. No, he's me uh, talking about decorative streets, kinda. <laughs> Good night. See you around. Yeah, 
Yeah, the medieval style is Carlson that does it. Who also is helping us with textures and audio at the moment. Doing a great job as well. Oops. Lag. I guess so. There we go. I'm definitely going to look at the performance log after the stream. There we go. Yeah, the medieval style was, uh, I think, the first style that was submitted outside of our team. And the Nordic style was built by by Luna and with the help of Chon as well. Can get some here out as well. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that is potentially going to need a little bit yet. Yeah, that's true. Ciao, ciao, Luna. See you around. Okie dokie. We're finally getting some of our sandstone bag again so we can feed our builders accordingly one of the main resources they're costing here in the Star Wars styles at the moment at least oh yeah that can happen guards wandering into caves caves and it's actually funny because it's a natural thing Because <laughs> Yeah, that would be very unfortunate, wouldn't it? Um It's because the guards will wander close to a cave, are going to be attacked and find a skeleton, are going to kill the skeleton just to find another mob deeper in the cave, and are going then to automatically wander deeper into it so if you don't want them to wander there you should block it off probably yeah like I can fully understand the struggle because a lot of the initial buildings and styles I had to make like the bird style the Mesa style, M Misa style, and a bunch of other buildings I made myself, and it was a huge struggle. And there were not as many buildings back then already. That should be fine. Let's check out how our resources are now. Um, it is possible, but you do need kind of you have to paste, you have to scan in the warship using our scan tools, and then you can ask the builder to place it, and then potentially it works. <laughs> okay, we got a bunch more of those. <laughs> yes, Aravan. Th that's the thing, right?
Ah, there we got another sticky piston. I had it on me all the time. And place it. Yes, tavern tavern is the only way now. Yes. We wanted a more realistic way to do to handle that. There we go. Sandstone. Let's see if it works now. Yes, it's closed. Um, I think at higher tavern level you get better citizens to to recruit, and in the future it's also better. Your citizens living there are going to be happier, and there are going to be other future cases for it too. Other future use cases for it too. Put a roof over my head. You need a shovel. I can help you with that. Some of those sticks. <laughs> yeah. I also have to say that I think early on in the streams, potentially, I was not very used to making streams. So. I, I wasn't as... Uh, how would I say it? Able to bring the message across as easily. But with the additional experience of making more and more streams, it gets increasingly easy. And thanks a lot for the community gifts, Fujin. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Very well appreciated. And that brings us to over 50 subs. And we are going to get another emoji for that. So what what do you guys think? What, what should the next uh, emoji be? We are going to add. Tell us, Fujin, what is the next emoji we should add? Oh. <laughs> a wrong way sign? I think a wrong way sign sounds good. Let, let me get ask um, my textured one of my texture designers quickly where is she wait I'm going to find her here yes ask her. <laughs> I didn't sign. What do I do more often? Bad jokes or getting lost? Potentially getting lost. Oh wow. Oh. Done. <laughs> getting lost. Obviously getting lost. I'm, I'm great at that. <laughs> yes, I, d I definitely ask her. What what does cadence mean? Aravan. My cadence is smoother now. What is cadence? Um, let's see how we research. My rhythm? Ah, okay. Ok, 
Okay, that's progressing decently. Ah. Um, I think there is there is a common a command. I think in information in the information tab, there is a command, and I think it's something like join stream watchers. I think like this. Yes, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's one of the things I... I kind of enjoy on doing the streams. Because... Since I want to... Um, go into academia and... Start teaching. Probably being able to talk fluidly for a certain amount of time without a lot of as and ums um, probably helps a lot as well even my so's are getting less have you noticed there's not even have the amount of so's left yeah, yeah it has to be on the on the discord <laughs> hi Misen, how are you doing Misen has been Reorganizing some of our github issues How is that going? There we go What is it? Yeah Good that we didn't have the didn't add the so emoji yet to be kind of useless It's it's very terrible. You get you get self-conscious about these kinds of things and then you kind of stop doing them. <laughs> yeah, in general I'm not I've not been very bad at at in general giving presentations. Um we had Kind of like a presentation class at university, an optional class I, I took in my undergrad course, which was super useful. It was one of the best things I've taken so far. And the general thing of the course was that in each class we would kind of give like ad hoc presentations. So kind of you would get like topic and then you don't have any time you have to go there and start presenting it and then all the entire class is going to give your feedback on the presentation on your posture on the way you're presenting on the content on all these kinds of things Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of difficult, but when you're forced to do it, um, after a while, you stop caring about it so much. Hey, I used to have like as a classical computer science uh, introverted computer scientist, I used to have major problems with it too, but nowadays I do not care a lot. I do get mighty nervous <laughs> before the um, presentations I have to give on scientific conferences. Being afraid of someone telling me that my work is horrible. <laughs> or pointing up such obvious issues and I'm like unable to respond and clarify why that shouldn't be a problem. But so far... Um, the feedback has always been very pos positive in general. No. How many bads there are? No. <coughs> there we go.
some add-on sand. This is going to fit perfectly in here. So we're going to see if it's really going to fit well. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Oh, that's ah! You told me, yeah, you told us. You were uh, your comp uh, your uh, big brother is going to help you to sort it out, right? You have ah! You mean how much space? That is in the town hall, Erevan. Uh, the town hall has an option to tell you. Um, how much citizens of how much uh, um, the limit how much of the limit you got yeah like Kardashian sat here I can hear an enemy as well ah how many citizens do you have in total Erevan Yeah, that's also a question because there is a a limit to the total amount of uh, uni um, people as well you can have in your university and your colony. We have on this server limit of a hundred, but depending on the research, it's twenty five, fifty, uh, seventy five, one hundred. Oops. No, she has 23 houses on max level, but she's probably not getting additional citizens. Like, that's the amount of citizens that Only could live in the sold. things. The new house. Wait, you got a request right for torches here that I want to cancel. <laughs> uh, you had moving in turned off. We had a bug report on Discord these days with with exactly the same issue. And it's because she had that option turned off. She wouldn't get the additional three citizens. Is that, is that level 3 by the way now? What is level level 2? Uh, we do not... I think we do not have end stone brick. Although that one is easy to get I think. And the carpet should not be a problem anymore either. Um, I perf I personally prefer tinkers. Let's give them a little bit more space. I personally prefer tinkers because I think all the all the additional gems kind of it's kind of too much. I like the vanilla level tinkers is and only adding two additional materials. In the nether and, and not 50 game gems where you have to research carefully what each game does and it's kind of an overload a sensory overload I would say what do we build next? another shovel craft some these here um, yeah, in general, the smeltery to make it a little bit more difficult is also a nice addition. Yes. Yeah, in in general, I, I in general I definitely prefer the vanilla plus tools. Yes. Yeah, but you can get triple the ore you smelt with my colony smelter. 
All right, a chance on getting triple, to be fair. There we go. Play inside leg. There we go. Getting some shovels here. There we go. Um, yes, the smelter level 1 has a smelter level chance to double them. The smelter level 2 has a 2 times smelter level chance to double them. Um, the smelter level 3 always doubles them. The smelter level 4 has a smelter level chance to triple them. And the smelter building level 5 has a twi 2 times smell the level chance to triple them so basically at a smelter level of 50 he always triples at level 5 and he has a 50% chance they have a 50% chance to double and to triple and to drop double right there we go. I think our citizens go to bed. We just check what our miner is up to. Don't have to go all the way to her hut. Oh, she's sick. She's actually sick. And she needs torches. I do have the cure with me, don't I? Do I still have carrot? Yes. So let's go to sleep. In a little bit let's give them a little bit more time to get all tucked into bed and then we get take care of the, the miner yeah the idea of vanilla plus tools is more to have like the minimum amount of additional tools you need before it being grindy without being a major gameplay element and tinker tools are kinda a major gameplay element that's an entire new system to it but the problem is of uh, the uh, tinker is that it makes Enchantment kind of useless Like the the levels we gain get kind of useless I want to go the miners hot now to recall her and give her her cure Oops Oh, two of them? That would have been bad for our lumberjack. I see a creeper down here. Die. Go to the miner. Almost forgot that it's the miner and not the lumberjack I wanted to take care of. Where did you get the recall to? Need to get a carrot here. And a potato, and we do want to get a bunch of these. Where is the miner?
I don't even remember the first time I used Tinkers. I'm kinda upset right now with our miner. Getting recalled because of the lag again. She's standing around here somewhere. Kinda can hear her. She kind of invisible or so. Um, no concrete numbers yet for the Asian villagers. Um, I know that Carlsoner is currently finishing the normal villager the uh, medieval style textures and after he finished those he's actually going to work on that in terms of the mining dimension um probably not um the problem we have with this is that they would have to be loaded chunk loaded in the mining dimension so either the mining dimension is loaded or your main colony is loaded which doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I think she's. I think she's actually invisible. Um. Yeah, probably Elfish would be the... Ah, there she is. There you go. Oops. Potato, this, and torches. Um, we do have some plans in terms of an adventurer worker that kinda works in the nether. But that would be kinda like indirectly working in the nether instead of directly working in the nether so the general idea was to have the worker go through a nether portal and disappear if the other side is loaded you see him walking around and mining random block if the side is not loaded we generate random blocks while he's there and generate random chances of him to die him or her to die them to die probably better so that's a general nether worker we have an idea in terms of cross-dimensional support I think I do not I did not click upgrade on the other one here yet, right? Nope, I didn't. Do I have some sand on me? I do. So I want to click upgrade on this here too. Level 3. I'm going there to the barracks grounds and see how much else she has to. Hey, it's because the clearing of the building. It's because the clearing of the building is doing is done in the wrong order at the moment, and that causes issues. Uh, we have to do the clearing in the right order and then all that misplacing is going to be fixed. Oh, some Adam said it will be okay. Won't be, I see.
Let's see. So I guess we're going to have to mine all of those the same way. I think sand fell down into the the hidden room in the warehouse uh, in the redstone space and that caused that to fail okay Oops. We're clearing a whole lot here. So I guess she's getting another shovel meanwhile. Ah, the, the multi-block. I thought I did make a nice video about the multi-block already on our YouTube channel. Hey, maybe the adventurer could be working in different dimensions. Yes, that would be an option. Um, in general, the multi-block is relatively simple. It has an input direction and an output direction as well as a distance and speed in which it operates um, and then it pulls blocks of the same type from the input direction to the output direction basically so if you have the left click on the minus and the right click in the plus it's going to pull blocks through that upwards and downwards but only of the same block type which is important so it st immediately stops after reaching a different block type so this way you can only pull in wooden fences but the moment it goes into uh, oak wood fences but if it reaches a different type of fence, it would stop pulling, basically. Let's see if she actually is going to request to shove uh, a pickaxe now. Nope. I think she might be starting to pick up and work now. Hey, it's relatively simple. It's not difficult. But it's also not as easy as the standard one. Our knights are dying like flies today again. What a pain. Oh, she's working on the fisherman? That's nice. Ah, he. Sorry, Connor. I'm probably also mainly clearing. Ah, been a lot of work spent here on clearing already, I can see. This door bug is as annoying as ever. Oops. 
There we go. Um, so everyone, it is getting fairly late. We're almost two hours in the stream. Uh, we, we started early today, so we almost filled in two hours, but it's fairly late already. Um, I'm already going to thank everyone for tuning in. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, thanks for keeping the conversation going. It's always much more fun if um, people are responsive in the chat and give me something to talk about. I'm also going to thank all the subscribers. I'm going to thank Fujin for the great community gift and all our patrons for sure. If you want to support our mod, you can follow, subscribe, and become a Patreon. Patreon get early access to features, as well as our private Patreon servers, as for example the one we are playing on here right now. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in again, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow at the same time again. Good night everyone. Ciao ciao.